best wishes everyone welcome back to our channel harshiki sir in this video we will see about all possible questionnaire from the previous case presentation video that is case on secondary infertility if you are a newbie then please watch the case presentation video i have linked it in the description now we will see questions from each and every slide let's start our viva practice for this case in the first slide they may ask a question which department does this case belong to you have to answer it as it was collected from gynecology department they may also raise a question about the causes of infertility and the detailed epidemiology of secondary infertility so we will answer it as according to government surveys in hospitals 15% of the couples are infertile so in females the infertility is caused due to ovulation disorders uterine and cervical abnormalities fallopian tube damage or blockage endometriosis primary ovarian insufficiency pelvic adhesions cancer and its treatment in males it may be due to abnormal sperm production or function problems with the delivery of sperms over exposure to certain environmental factors like pesticides chemicals radiation and certain drugs and damage related to cancer and its treatment here you can add a point that in my case the patient is a female who developed secondary infertility due to blockage in fallopian tubes coming to epidemiology the ratio of prevalence of primary and secondary infertility is seen as approximately 2 is to 1 will come across primary infertility more often than the secondary infertility now coming to the next slide the examiner may raise a question about the indications g2 p1 l1 a1 you need to explain it as g stands for gravida which means number of pregnancies that women had p stands for parity that means number of complete pregnancies that means beyond 20 weeks of gestation period either the baby is viable or non viable l stands for live childbirths a stands for abortions e stands for ectopic pregnancy ectopic pregnancy means in which fertilized egg implants outside the uterus in this case g2 means she had two pregnancies p1 means she had one complete pregnancy l1 means gave birth to a live child a1 means she has gone through one abortion in the past the examiner may also ask why the lmp is considered you have to answer it as lmp means last menstrual period it is concerned to give us the information about her menstrual cycle which is very important to know in infertility cases in this case she had regular menstrual cycles now coming to the next slide examiner may ask you about tablet neufall and tablet retrozol you can answer it as tablet neufall is an vitamin supplement which consists of folic acid mycobalamin pyridoxin which helps the body to make healthy new cells and coming to the tablet retrozol it is a non steroidal aromatase inhibitor which stops the conversion of androgens into estrogen so increases the development of the egg and it also increases ovulation the examiner may also ask for how many days does this drug therapy continued you can answer it as 6 months they may also question you about why the husband semen analysis was ordered you can answer it as this was tested to know the actual reason of the infertility in the preliminary analysis they may include a question why the tablet fertilize was advised you can answer it as it was advised to increase the sperm motility development and maturation of spermatozoa coming to the next slide they may ask explain about hysterosalpingography hysterosalpingography is a x-ray test in which a thin tube is threaded into vagina and cervix a contrast material is injected into the uterus a series of x-ray or fluoroscopy follows the dye which appears white on x-ray 
as it moves into the uterus and then into the tubes if the tube is open the dye gradually fills the fallopian tubes and spills out into the pelvic cavity where the body resorbs the dye if any abnormality in the shape and structure of the uterus is seen then it will be outlined in this case there is no spillage of dye seen so we can assess an obstruction in the fallopian tubes coming to the next slide as i already mentioned in this case checking vitals is not so important as this is a non invasive or less invasive method as you all know the examiner will definitely focus on drugs administered so you have to prepare accordingly about all the drugs mechanism of action side effects adrs contraindications drug interactions toxic dose doses available dosage forms available of that particular drugs now coming to the next slide all the lifestyle modifications advised are to increase the new cell formation ovulation fertilization in the patient by this i have covered almost all possible questions from this case presentation if you have any doubts or questions regarding this case study don't hesitate to comment down thank you for watching please comment your doubts i'll be happy to learn with you don't forget to like share and subscribe